Hello viewers, I am Ayanar Jayabalan. Now we will discuss about how to do the lazy loading in Angular line. So what is lazy loading? Basically if you have a multiple modules in Angular application, like if you have an admin module and you will have already the root module. If you want to load that admin module uh, only when you are getting into that admin, instead of loading all the modules in the, the initial uh, application loading itself, what you can do if your user is getting into that admin module at that time only we will load that the JS files which is required for the admin module. In that way what we are achieving is we are achieving the good performance in the Angular application. To achieve good performance only we are using the lazy loading in Angular and we will see now how to implement this lazy loading in Angular 9. Let's get into the implementation now. I have already created one application, Angular application. So I have only the app module here. So I don't have any other module. So let me create one uh, admin module here using the Angular CLI command. Generate module name is admin module. The new module is created. So this is my admin model. Let me create one component under the admin. So mpgc component name settings. Sorry. I just want to create under that admin model. So the new component is created under the admin model and also it's added that component to that admin model. Let's check here the settings component is added. Accordingly that new component is created under the admin folder. Okay. Now I am going to load this admin model only if I am getting into the admin section. Okay. So for that one first I have to define the routes. Let me define the routes here. By default route is let me point to settings. Settings component Angular routes. I have to import this one here. Router module dot for child for child I'm going to use this routes okay so whenever I'm getting into the admin module by default I have to load the settings component here and same way in the app module app routing module I'm going to define the routes here. I'm going to admin path. My, instead of loading the component, what I'm going to do, children, I'm going to input that module dynamically admin admin module which module name I'm going to admin model so this is the way I'm going to load this admin model dynamically 
whenever I'm navigating to the admin. It is that children routes. Children, children is not correct. I think it's we have to use a load children. So whenever I am just using that URL is slash admin, it will load this module dynamically instead of eagerly loading. So this is a way we are implementing the lazy loading. Let's check that one how it is running this one. I'm seeing the error in that admin module. Yeah, that's it. Child for child routes. Okay, so I just restarted, just when I just stopped and restarted that application now. Now it's working. And let me see that one, uh, how it's rendering. Fine. Now we will see that one, how it's dynamically loading the network request. I'm just enabling. Let me go to the admin module. Okay, before that to show easily, it's not the correct way. Let me go to that app component.html. Let me say router link admin path. Admin module. Let me run this application now. Now I'm just clearing here sorry clearing here now let me get into the admin model here let's see whether it is dynamically loading that js file or not excellent now if you see that one the new uh, admin model is loaded on dynamically so this is a way we have to implement the lazy loading in angular 9 hope you enjoy and understand that one how to do the lazy loading in angular 9 please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thank you